Android 4.4 KitKat on Lenovo Vibe X2 is run by MediaTek MT6595M uh, chipset with 4 core 2 GHz processor with power of VR G600 graphics, okay, whatever, and 2 GB of RAM. Uh, this sounds like promising, you know, it, but it's not the, the strongest chipset on the market. The system should be upgradable to 5.5 version Lollipop. Uh, and I think that this chipset will handle it with no problem. On a to-do benchmark, uh, you know, when you when you show the game, uh, Vibe X2 achieves 25 to 35 or 37 frames per second, uh, which is pretty good and it's fluid. It's not like on most advanced smartphones, but it's pretty good. It's some uh, higher mid-range, uh, like HTC One M9. And in the end, you get almost 46,000 points, which is almost uh, at the very top. Uh, like uh, HTC One M9 that achieves 49,000 points and Galaxy S6 uh, over 50,000 points. So this is pretty good. This is pretty strong. And I think that games will will work fluidly. You won't have problem while playing games. Uh, they start up pretty fast. You won't wait too much to start up the game. Uh, they don't twitch. And you'll be able to install a bunch of games on your smartphone, on your Vibe X2 because it has 32 gigabytes of internal memory. Uh, it's not expandable with micro SD uh, cards, but I think 32 gigabytes is really uh, good enough. Applications also run pretty smooth. It takes a second to start up the camera application. And you know, I think that Vibix 2 is pretty solid uh, regarding how fast it is. Uh, it's not like the ultimate uh, top model range, but it's pretty, pretty good. It's almost like the high-end devices. Thank you guys for watching. If you have Vibix 2 or some similar device, uh, I would love you to comment uh, or if you have any questions, ask below and see you next time.